Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. And today we do so looking at 1 Corinthians 5. And this is a tougher lesson. I'll be honest with you. It is a, a tougher lesson to study. But it's an important one. Because in life, some of the lessons that we learn are easier. And some that we learn are tough and hard. Think of a parent-child relationship teaching to your kids. Some of the lessons are, are easier and some are very hard. Here today is a, is a tougher one, but it's an important one. And with anything, especially looking at a tough lesson, to remember why that is. A lesson is intended to teach and the lesson is done out of love. And so keep that in mind as we study through this tougher lesson. Once again, found in 1 Corinthians 5. Kind of summarize these, these verses, go through just a few of these uh, step by step. But here Paul um, is working specifically with this Corinthian uh, church. And the, the issue at hand, of verse 1 and 2, is that there is an adulterous relationship within the church. Not only is there this issue of the relationship, but the attitude by all parties involved, as well as the members of the church. It's not sorrow. It's not um, grief. It's not... Their attitude is one of, Paul says, verse 2, pride and joy. They were proud of what had taken place. And Paul calls them on this. says, this is not good. This is against what God says. And the fact that you are not repentant of it shows that you are outside of God's grace. Very sad thought. and Very serious. What Paul says in verse 5, he says, hand this man over to Satan. And he expounds on what this means in verse 13. He says, expel the wicked man from among you. Handing this man over to Satan saying, this man should not be within the church because his attitude is not one of repentance, but one of turning to sin and longing for sin, finding joy in sin. That person should not be within the church. And that person, once you're outside of the church, he says, hand this man over to Satan. They're disconnected from God's word. It's not good. It's not a good place to be. But Paul tells the reason for this in verse 5, that very same verse I said. Hand this man over to Satan so that the sinful nature may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. Tough lesson is intended, done so to teach and done so out of love. Saying... This man is unrepentant of his sin, and he is in a dangerous spot. His, his faith, by his actions, show that he is, is not a believer. we got to get his attention. We have to save this man's soul. And so, expel this man, but do so, so that he can be saved. To get his attention, to know what is so important. It's not this... This sinful action. No, it's his relationship with his God. That is of vital importance. And Paul does this, says this. And it's not just for this man's benefit, but also for the brothers and sisters in the church. Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough? Get rid of the old yeast so that you may be a new batch without yeast. Saying that these, these actions can work through the, an entire church. So this, this action of what we call excommunication is both for uh, the parties involved, but also for the good of the church. Done so out of love. It's a hard lesson. It is. And in 2 Corinthians, we don't know for sure what happens uh, to this man, but in 2 Corinthians, Paul talks about how there was a serious situation, and now they needed to show forgiveness, indicating that perhaps this 
referring to this situation where the man did come to repentance and we would thank and praise God for that because that's the intention of it all. The tough lessons are done out of love. And I pray that we can know that, take that to heart, that all the lessons that we learn in life are done through love um, and know that we have that wonderful gift of forgiveness. Um, each and every day, opportunity to repent of our sins. You and I, we fall short each and every day, but let us never fall outside turning to a life of sin but hanging on to that wonderful promise of forgiveness that we have in Jesus. Let's pray and thank God for this gift. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the lessons you give us in life, the, the easy ones and the hard ones, but they are there to teach us, to keep us connected to you, and they're done so with love. We thank you for the love that you show us, and we know this love through your Son, our Savior, Jesus. Help us to always know this, and to be reminded of the forgiveness we have in you, and to show that in the lives that we live, living for you, and not for the, to satisfy the desires of our sinful natures, but to serve our Heavenly Father, you who have done so much for us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.